Hello dear students! In this revision video, you can apply what you have learned from Unit 1, Plants are Living Things. You have learned that some things are living and some are not. You can describe differences between things that are living, that were once alive, and that have never lived. Look at these pictures in question 1. Sort these materials into the correct group, alive or not alive. A clock, plant, clouds, match, cactus, river, sheep, and tree. So how would you know these things are alive or not alive? You can use the seven rules to see if something is alive or not. It is alive if it moves, needs water and food, grows, makes waste, needs air, can sense the world around, and can have young. Living things do all seven. So, clock, clouds, match, and river all move because something moved them. And for the rest of the rules, they cannot do. Therefore, these things are not alive. Plant grows and so the cactus, sheep, and the tree. These things can do all the seven rules to be alive. The same applies in question number two. There are seven rules to tell if something is a living thing. We are going to match the picture from the boxes. This is an eagle and a candle. An eagle is an animal and all animals are living things. So we will draw a line here. An eagle is alive. How do you know it is alive? Because it can have young. A candle is not alive. Why? Because it cannot have young. Question number three, we are going to sort the things shown in the picture in the three groups. Write each thing in the correct box. So, living things can do the seven rules. Now, things that were once alive means something that was alive but is not alive now. Things that have never been alive are the things that cannot do the seven rules. Okay, so frog spawn. Fan, wood, crop, tree, rain, rock, and plastic block. Let's sort these things. So frogs, pawn, crab, and tree are all living things because they can do all the seven rules. Wood will go in this group, things that were once alive because wood comes from a tree, which is a living thing. Wood was cut or removed already from a living thing. So, it was once part of a living thing. It cannot do the seven rules anymore. Things that have never been alive are fan, rain, rock, and plastic block. Again, you can use the seven rules to check that you are right about these things. The rock fails most of the rules. Rocks can move, for example, in an earthquake, but not by themselves. Rocks can appear to grow, but this is only when more rock pushes them as in an earthquake. Now let's revise the parts of a plant in question 4. Label this plant using these words from the box. Root, stem, leaf, flower. This is a leaf. This is a flower. This is a stem. And these are the roots. In question 5, every part of the plant is important. Draw an arrow from the plant part to its important job. So these are the plant parts, roots, flower, stem, leaf in this column to see what each plant part does. Okay, so the job of the roots is to hold the plant down and absorb water from the soil. Flower is to make seeds for the plant. The stem holds the plant parts up and transport water. Leaf is to make food for the plant. You know that plants need light and the right conditions to be healthy. In question 6, two similar plants are growing. One is in the light, the other is in a dark box. Match the picture from the boxes. So this is plant with light and plant with no light. Now, plants need the right conditions to grow and be healthy, but how would you know this is a plant with light? A healthy plant has strong roots, stems, and leaves. A plant with no light would look like this. A healthy plant may have leaves that are wilting and yellow. In question number 7, you can say that plants need the right conditions to be healthy. So let's label these diagrams. 
Use the words from the boxes. Four similar plans are put in different places. Look at a picture and answer the questions. Use the letters A, B, C, or D. This plant B is placed in the box. Plant A is near the wall. Plant C is on the table. And plant D is under the table. Now let's complete these sentences. Number one, which plant will grow well because it has most light? Look again at this picture. It is plant C because it is on the table. It has most light. Number two, which plant will grow less well because they have less light? So plants A, B, and D will grow less well because they are placed where they have less light. Looking again at these four plants, in number three, which plant or plants would grow better if it was or were moved to? Okay, so let's complete the sentence. Plants A, B, and D would grow better if they were moved to the place of plant C. Why? Because plant C has most light. Question number eight. Look at the four seeds below and the places they will grow. They all get enough water, but will they grow well? Look at the pictures and complete the sentences in the questions. You know that baby plants grow from seeds. Plants which get plenty of sunlight over days grow well. Plants in shady places grow more slowly. And plants in semi-dark or dark look unhealthy. Okay, so see here in... Now, look at seed in picture 1. It is under the tree. Seed 2 is near or beside the window. Seed 3 is under the chair. And seed 4 is on the plant box. Now, complete the sentences in these questions. Plant 1 and 3 will not grow strongly because there is no sunlight. The tree in picture 1 is blocking off the sunlight, same as the chair in picture number 3. Number 2. Plants 2 or the seed in picture number 2 and seed in picture number 4 will grow well because there is sunlight. Seed 2 near the window can get enough sunlight and seed 4 on the plant box. Number 3. Plants need light so that the leaves can make food, sugar. Okay, remember the job of the leaves is to make food for the plant. Question number nine. Plants need the right amount of water. They also need the right temperature. Look at these pictures. Is each plant growing well? Remember, some plants can live in cold places and some in hot places. If it is very hot or very cold, plants cannot survive. Too much heat or cold can kill them. Read these sentences. Complete them by adding the right letter A, B, or C. So, number one, plant C cannot grow well because it is too cold. Number two, plant A cannot grow well because it is too hot. Number three, Plant B can grow well because it has the right temperature. Question 10. Which two of these does a plant need for it to grow? Complete this sentence. So our plant needs blank and blank to grow. Is it water, light, bread, and plant box? Remember, plants need the right conditions to grow and be healthy. And the conditions they need are the right amount of warmth, air, water, and light. So a plant needs water and light to grow. Question number 11. Three seeds were grown in different places. In sandy soil, in good soil, and stones. Now complete these sentences. Use these letters and words from the boxes. Number one, plant B grew the best because the good soil held enough water for the plant to grow. The root could absorb enough water from the soil. Number two, plant C grew the least because the stones had no water. The root could not absorb any water. Number three, plant A grew a little because the root absorbed a little water. The sandy soil holds only a little water. In question number 12, uh, complete the sentences using the missing words. You may use each word or you can use it twice from the box you have 
here flower, water, leaves, roots, stem. Number one, plants have roots that are underground. Okay, so these roots, okay, these hold the plant up and also absorb water. Number two, the water is transported to the, which part of the plant? The stem and then up to the plant, to the leaves and flowers. Number three, the flowers are the place where seeds are made. Question number 13, Arun had two plants that were the same. He gave water to one plant. He did not give water to the other plant. Every day, he measured the height of the plants. Here are the results on day 1 and day 10. As you can see here, on day 1, the plant with water grew 4 cm. The plant with no water also grew 4 cm. On day 10, it grew 8 cm with water, but with no water, it only grew 3 cm. Remember, every part of a plant needs water. Water is absorbed by the roots from the soil. Now look at the diagram to see how water moves around the plant. Here you will draw the bar charts for each day. This is how we will draw the bar charts using the measurements above. Now you can make a conclusion from results and make predictions and see if they are right. Number two, which plant grew better? It's the plant which was watered grew better. Now, number three, how tall do you think the plant with water was on day five? Okay, so this is the chart for day one and for day ten. Maybe five or six centimeters. Okay, thank you for listening, future scientists, and good luck.